We don't typically think about our kitchens as having a gas pipeline in them, but gas stoves bring fossil fuels directly into our homes. This is the first study to answer the question, what chemicals are in the natural gas used in 88% of California homes? In samples from 16 different counties across California, we detected 12 different compounds that are listed as hazardous air pollutants under the Clean Air Act. In particular, we found benzene, a known human carcinogen, in 99% of the samples. We saw that concentrations of benzene and other hazardous air pollutants varied throughout California based on the gas utility and region. The highest concentrations in the state were found in Los Angeles County and surrounding areas. A typical person can be exposed to these pollutants inside their homes. Recent research has found, for instance, that gas stoves can leak even when they're off. Higher concentrations of pollution in the gas can lead to higher concentrations inside the home, but small, poorly ventilated kitchens can also more quickly build up indoor air pollutants. For benzene, we saw that it is possible for leaks from gas stoves to create similar concentrations as secondhand smoke. These concentrations are above what the state of California recommends as a low risk level of exposure. What this tells us is that just having a gas stove in your home can introduce potentially dangerous levels of hazardous air pollutants. Our study didn't take into account the benzene or other pollution that can be produced by using your gas stove, or even from leaks from other gas appliances and gas pipes in your house. That means that these levels may be dramatically underestimating total benzene exposure. There are individual actions that can help, things like using air filters, opening a window, or turning on your range hood can all help to lower the amount of air pollution inside your home. But if your gas stove is leaking all the time, then removing that source of air pollution is the best way to protect our climate and health. Policies to help shift us away from using gas should start with communities facing the greatest risk. People living in smaller homes with poor ventilation, such as renters or low-income families. Learn more about our findings and actions you can take at pseHealthyEnergy.org.